y'all what's up what's going on welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be talking about my favorite brands that i think that do an amazing stand-up outstanding job at catering to women of color men of color people of color these are brands where i know i can go straight to them and they're going to have something for me i know with all of social media right now blowing up with brands not catering to women of color and people of color it's a huge thing here's how me myself i deal with it i'm like this if i see something and i don't i don't like it i don't talk about it i don't give it any life okay so basically what i'm saying is these brands aren't stupid anymore okay they know exactly what they're doing it is 2018 so if a brand at 2018 is still not catering to people of color and then to take it even further if they're not catering to deeper complexions Pay attention to that because the thing is, it's not unknown, okay? Everybody knows what's up at this point. So how I deal with it, if I go to a brand and I'm like, oh, I want to try this. They don't have anything for me. They don't have anything for deeper complected people. I just don't, I'm, I'm just simply not fooling with them. I don't need to make a rant about it because like I said, everybody knows. The best thing that you can do is A, don't spend your money on it and don't give it any life end of story all right so the reason why I like these specific brands that I am talking about is just simply because I know that I can go straight there and I can find my shade and also on the flip side of it for my makeup artistry business it's all inclusive I really really love the idea of inclusive beauty of diversity just simply because my clientele is very very diverse I'm talking to the fairs of the fair to the deepest of the deep different ages it's very important that the brand that I am shopping with has something for me, has something for my deeper complected and my very, very fair complected as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The brands that I'm mentioning, these are just my favorites. These are not the only brands, okay? And also we are talking strictly complexion, complexion. That is what we're talking about. We're not talking about eyeshadows, we're not talking about lip products. So you can get eyeshadows and lip products basically from any brand. We're strictly talking about complexion also, we're going to switch gears pathway through and we're, we are going to talk about black owned makeup companies as well. All right. So the first product that we're going to talk about, and this is the brand that I feel like really, really came in with a vengeance. I know there are other brands that do have a lot of shades to offer, but this is, I believe, the brand that came. Yeah, this is the most recent brand that came out with a ton of shades. Fenty Beauty. I don't need to go on about this. I'm sure everybody has raved about it. I have it on today. No matter what shade you are, there's a shade for you. But like I always say with Fenty, here's where it gets tricky. If you're dry skin, this is going to look like trash on you. Okay, so that's why it's important that you have other options. Moving on to next, this is where I started. I think this is where everybody started. I feel like I would be a complete and total fool. I would be a disgrace to the makeup artist community if I did not mention MAC. MAC has shades on top of shades on top of shades this is my studio fix powder this shade is an nc47 and it does not match me i got the wrong shade on accident however i feel like anyone can shop at mac especially my deep complected women we can find something for us there too i mean it's mac you you, you can't go wrong with mac the next product that i have here i have yet to find a foundation from them that works for me. They used to have one, but they discontinued it. However, I do use one of their concealers and their foundation shade range is beautiful. It is a really, really good foundation shade range. This is NARS. This is their soft matte concealer and my shade is Almond. I mean, whenever I go past the NARS, just their complexion products, I'm like, wow, like that's awesome it is really really great so matte it's not matte so nars is a really really product to go to as far as complexion wise next up these bad boys this is my foundations for my client kit i don't want to pull all of these out because i'm not trying to make a mess but in here 
I like to use Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I like these foundations just simply because one, they have a huge range of shades. They have them, and I like it because they have it specifically with the undertones. So they have the R and the yellow. So that makes my life so much easier when I'm working on my clients. But I like that they have a wide variety. I like that I can use the stick foundations. I use them as concealers. I use them as contours. I use them as all over foundation. Also, I like that that specific foundation, I can use it on everybody. So no matter what the skin type is, it's going to work for me. So for my artistry business, that I use Makeup Forever because it's just what works for me. My next brand here is a brand that I am just always impressed with. Whenever they are about to drop a product, man, their ads are insane. I'm talking from diversity of shade range from having men and women, ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I absolutely love them. I think they are great. Here I have two of their foundation sticks. Again, these are matte. So if you have dry skin, it will look like trash on you. These products that I'm showing you now, these are my personal products. I have oily skin, so that's why everything I have is pretty much geared toward it. Um, however, unfortunately, I'm not a fan of this chestnut. I think maybe, I don't know, just all over my face. I don't like it, but I can use it in the center to highlight and blend out and use as a concealer. But what I do love, this stick for contouring and earth Look at this. Look how deep this runs. That is deep. Okay? That's deep. And the fact that ABH also, they came out with a wide variety of shades with their foundation. Has it been two years ago? I think it is amazing. So if you're my complexion or even a little bit deeper and you're looking for a good contour shade, this is in the shade Earth. And I like it because it's not too cool, but it's not too warm either. I have more of a golden undertone and sometimes if something is too red, it makes me look orange. I think this is perfect, perfection. The next products that I have, these are more affordable products. This is a new brand that I've been loving. This is by a brand called Skinny Dip Cosmetics. I did a video using this foundation for my winter foundation routine, so make sure you check that out. I found them on Instagram, and in their Instagram, it says Inclusive Beauty. I love that. This is affordable, I believe. I paid $12 for it. It's a beautiful foundation. This is what I've been using on the cold, cold days. I like it because I do have oily skin. However, this is a hydrating foundation but it doesn't make me look dewy, it doesn't make me look oily, it doesn't intensify my pores, it's just really, really good. So I highly encourage you guys, if you have not checked them out, go to their Instagram, check them out. I mean, it's $12, it's worth the shot. It's really, really good. And then the last product that I have that is affordable, you guys already know, it's really, really hard to find a product that is in the drugstore that is catering to deeper skin tones. However, I feel like... I feel like Maybelline has really, really stepped it up as far as just throwing in more shades because this is a good foundation. This is the Matte and Poreless Fit Me. This is the shade 360. I typically wear coconut. I tried this one to see if it would maybe be a better fit for me and it was a touch too dark. So I'm going to still continue to rock with my coconut. But if you are on a budget and you want a foundation that's going to make you look really, really nice and flawless and it's comfortable to wear, this is where you need to go. That's my top brand as far as foundations and complexion wise go. I feel like no matter what your skin tone is, if you hop onto any of those brands, you will be able to find something for you and I think that is top notch. Now let's switch on over to black owned makeup companies. So I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, we just need to put the money back into us and we just need to buy black owned. Yes, I agree. Me, myself, I'm a black owned brand. Amber Wallace Artistry is my brand. That's how I do all of my booking for my bridals, for my clients in salon, on location photo shoots. So yes, I'm a huge believer in doing black owned brands, absolutely. Here's the tricky part though, when it comes to the makeup industry and black owned brands, this is just me. Every time I have gone to do a bomb black owned brands list um, video, the brands that I'm thinking, Black Opal, Black Radiance, Black Up, those brands are not black owned. So it has a, been a struggle for me to find a legit black owned brand that has complexion products. Those brands that I named, 
they aren't black owned however they do cater to you know black women and I think that's great but to find a complexion product that caters to black women and is black owned has been a little bit tricky for me however I do know a few I know um, Danessa Myricks she's a makeup artist she's oh my gosh oh my gosh like the Danessa Myricks I fangirl over her because she is so talented and she has her own makeup line I'm definitely working my way over to checking her out I know Beauty Bakery is a bomb is a bomb brand I'm just waiting for their concealer to drop before I go ahead and click purchase because I have a few things in my shopping cart just waiting and I'm like I need that concealer because I want to support a black owned brand and I just love concealer Beauty Bakery is a good one. Oh, Fashion Fair hello Fashion Fair is in stores and is black owned and they have a huge wide range of complexion products alright guys so those are my recommendations if you're looking for brands that cater to women of color people of color men of color down below I will have a list of even more brands I know there are so many more I know there's Estee Lauder I know there's Lancome I know there's a ton more but these are just my favorite ones that I kind of rock with so down below I'll make sure I have that list for you make sure tell me what are some of your favorite brands that cater to people of color also please 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 if you know any more black owned brands that have complexion products can you please please just help your girl out and let me know because I would love to give those a try and I would love to support those as well all right so I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching peace